Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lee, this is Reefer Explained. Today we're just doing a quick update on review on the tank and a new product review. So uh, recently I've uh, installed a pH meter. Um, I have also picked up a secondary pH pen. Um, this is really to understand and test um, if the refactory is doing as it is should be so i picked up this pen from amazon um it was just under 30 pounds in the uk um that's the brand there you can see it on amazon uk um and uh you have to calibrate it with the reagents um the instructions weren't great but they did work and there's a calibration button and everything else so um has the probe there and everything else takes batteries in the top um, and then obviously you just dip it in and it will give you a reading, hopefully. All right, this is saying 8.5, which is very impressive. Um, it might be a bit off. Obviously it's not gonna be dead accurate, slightly off. So this one, this um, refactory has gone to 8.3. Uh, just recently, um, so I've been hovering around 8.1, uh, 8.19, uh, 8.2 during the day with the windows open, maybe a bit more than 8.2. And um, I've just picked up this CO2 remover. Um, it's a, a kind of reef a filled canister kind of thing, um, like a cheap version kind of thing, knockoff. Uh, it was around 15 pounds, put it from Charter House Aquatics. Um, and it's got like a little attachment on the top. Uh, I've just plugged my hose straight onto there from my skimmer um, and then it runs down to the bottom and then just absorb through this media. I'm pretty sure that this will change color, um, but I think this, I've seen someone else saying they last around four to five weeks online. Depends obviously how much CO2 you've got in your house. Now windows are open a lot at the moment in the flat. Um, it's quite warm, so we're good there. Um, and I'm just shocked that it really went up to like 8.8.3. 8 so uh, really happy about that. Obviously, again, not ch chasing numbers or anything, but um, it's just good to know that obviously that will remove that excess CO2 in the air. Um, it will hopefully it has increased the pH, which it has. And um, yeah, it was a good buy for 15 pounds. And to be honest with you, I had a little um, kind of homemade beaker with a hole in and I, I plugged the tubing through here to noise cancellate that. And that's done the same thing. Um, and it's less chance of that kind of being knocked because this was hanging on the side. Um, so I'm um, really happy with this. And I think I will probably continue to get these um, per month uh, or every other month uh, and just see how I go. And I think especially in the winter when you've got all the windows um, closed because it's cool at colder, um, this will be a great addition to remove the excess CO2 in the house. Um, so, yeah, good shout out to uh, this company, ATI. Um, and, uh, yeah, I got it. I think uh, Crack and Corals do it as well. So, um, yeah, look them up. But anyone wants to know a little bit more about the setup or the pH um, refactory and so forth, obviously uh, give me a comment or shout in there. Um, and I'll get back to you. But as I said, everything's doing well. I have just done a ICP test, funny enough, um, on the reef. And it's just come back from um, Reef Factory, I believe it was. So um, yeah, all, all is okay-ish. Um, I've got some problems in the tank at the moment. Um, the RO water was fine. There was some silicate I believe in there, uh, it said silicon, silicon, I think I meant silica, I'm not sure, but there was something in there, apparently it's quite hard to get f out from the RO system. Um, so RO was fine. The main problems with the tank, um, and I can understand now why some of the corals are not doing so well or dying, uh, I've had a few in the last month, um, is because my aluminium, copper, uh, zinc are quite high. Um, so there is something off in the tank. So to combat this, I've ordered some media, which should arrive shortly, and I'll do a review on that. 
gonna run it in a canister. I believe it will just take out the copper um, and heavy metals. Um, I'm also gonna run some uh, Roafos, or you could it GFO. Um, so I'm gonna run some of that as well because I've got some nuisance algae building up. Now, I am actually testing and getting number figures now on the HANA checker for phosphates. I um, don't know if you can see this, but it's reading uh, 0.03. And the corals are responding because you can see the colors. Um, they are growing, uh, these short gonies. Uh, they're really popping in color. Um, there's a few that are sulking. This one's doing quite well. The uh, wrestlers are growing like crazy. Um, this one's doing well. But there are a few that are sulking up here. So I I believe that certain corals won't do as well. Um, there's some Montes here. But I have, um, from the ICP test, it came back high magnesium uh, around 1470. Um, I believe it was. And then cal calcium was very high. It was just under 500. So I've um, really reduced um, on my calcium. Um, I believe everything else is okay. Phosphorus and phosphate did come back zero, but this was like three weeks ago. And since then I have been dosing manually phosphate to the tank um, from NIOS in a bottle. And that is why I'm getting 0.03. And I believe because there's not as much hair algae in the tank that it's not being consumed. So the figure is actually being uh, kind of read out now on there so let me know what your thoughts are how to get rid of high copper high aluminium high zinc um they're the main three problems i believe i have there may be a few more but it's really anything high metal now there's nothing rusting in the tank as far as i'm aware i've looked in the sump i've, I've filtered out the back of the chambers um with a torch from looking there's nothing that's falling in there that's metal. None of the pumps are rusting. There's no magnet cleaners left in the tank uh, anymore. Um, I've, I'm gonna replace, um, just for peace of mind, my TMC100 uh, pump, just in case something's rusting. The propeller looks fine, nothing's blown, but it's uh, 12 pounds and I think I've had this for a couple of years now. So I'm gonna replace that. Um, what else? The return pump is fine, but I've got another one, which uh, you all know about. I'm gonna do a review on that. It's the Jacob wireless Wi-Fi um, 3500. I'm gonna put that one in just because it's Wi-Fi compatible and I'll be able to turn it on and off by the app. Um, and the skimmer and everything's uh, only about a year old, so that's fine. There's only one other little pump in here um, that's at the back, that's an Eheim and I've checked the propeller there. So there's nothing that should be leaching out as far as I'm aware that's that's causing a problem. Um, the pumps inside the main display, the flow pumps are brand new. They're only about six months old and they're not leaching. I've checked them. So um, any thoughts on why I'm getting high copper, aluminium, uh, zinc, uh, anything to do with metal removal, uh, media or foam that I can put in here. Now I'm running the Red Sea Reefer 500, so I don't really have a lot of room in here to put media, as in um, like a sponge or anything, but there is a compartment at the back that's the bubble trap, the black sponge between there and the overflow um, to the return pump, so I can remove that and put some media there. I'm just worrying about it being clogged more than anything else. Um, apart from running some media in a reactor, I think it's by Seachem, um, this is the stuff I've ordered. Uh, I'll get the name, I'm gonna run that and some Roafos, and I'm gonna change out my carbon uh, and do a water change uh, just to bring those levels down. Um, I just can't do a big enough water change, I don't think, to make an impact on those levels. They are really quite high uh, on the refactory um, tests and they were high before when I sent off the last one um, so I'm trying to understand what is um, how this is being added now I'm using reverse osmosis water and it is reading zero I do clean up my buckets regularly uh, for my mixing station uh, the pump in there is not sitting in there constantly either and I've checked that so any thoughts that you have um, would be really helpful on beating high aluminium, zinc and copper.
thanks for watching guys and uh, hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more videos like this